What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, we were standing here when... We heard plenty of unsettling sounds, to say the least. And in this episode, we're going to look for a few different things. We have structure gel, a battery pack, and a cortex chip to look for, so that we can use the suit we found in the medical bay, right? Or rather, beyond the medical bay in the dive room and all that jazz. And from here, I saw that there was this map, and we were going to mess around with this. Those sound effects keep making me think we're going to be attacked like any second. But I really think we're okay right here. And so you can see how, like, on the upper level, I guess the first question is... Hmm... What happens if we override? What the heck? I'm not like... No, I'm okay, right? And I don't see anything down there even. Okay, I think I'm okay. But my idea was, oh, in this upper level here we can see, well, this map, right? Where are we actually? So we are in the midsection right now. What if we override... Hmm. We can reset the sequence, but I don't really know. I guess... Whoa. Listen to me. That's pretty weird. What I'm curious about is... If I, um... Oh! Is this just a puzzle? Where I have to... Get all of the... Like, essentially one continuous path? I don't think it's possible then. Yeah, no, it's definitely not possible. We have to stop it. Wow. So something is trying to message me, clearly. But I don't think that whatever I just did really even changed much. But clearly I've got to do something. Um, but notably, it says fault located F3 power room. Cause system overload. I guess... Actually, if I start with this one here, I should be able to. It says, did that just say stop the wow? The real question is, who is talking to me, right? Removing lockdown? Okay. So, everything... The lighting certainly changed. The music changed. Like, a lot. And all of these doors unlocked. For better or for worse. What's going on here? Ruffy. Jacob Helper, an unusually sedated orange Ruffy found hovering outside Omicron's substation. It had remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During postmortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. It kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could ro relocate it. Interesting. Maybe some sort of pollutant got into the water and infected it. Shelly, dead on arrival. Claudia Earns. Derby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Lumar probe at about 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeter, centimeter long rudderfish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it is getting worse. Something is causing this and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Orvari can't shut up about. Oh, so something is causing this weird mutation fusion of different animals uh, in the depths. Johan Ross, dead on arrival. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. So something happened to the ARC team down at Tau, and this is uh, an indicator of it. All right. So I think that's all that this has to offer for now. So let's go ahead and look for those few things. The question is, where do we want to go first? So that is the clean room. That is the south hall. And that's the laboratory. While I have a moment to breathe, that is, let's take a look at this map. We are currently in the midsection. We've already been to the infirmary and the deep diving room, I believe. Which is kind of interesting, because I thought from where we were... 
This doesn't seem to be oriented how I expected. Yeah, so I think we're actually facing, right now, um, the east side of the screen. The right side of the screen. Yeah, so anyways, um, we can go to the laboratory if we want. We can go to the biomech laboratory. Either of those work. So let's check those out for now. Oh my god, that got me so good, guys. <laughs> so this is the clean room, but I think this leads to the biomech area. And it should be kind of like a one-off room anyway, so I'm not too worried about running into some sort of encounter. More so, this is likely a room for information. Or maybe not. <laughs> Emergency shower. Yikes. Why so many headless people? What do we have here? Anything of interest? No, it doesn't seem like it. What about over here on the board, maybe? Stationary phase, circuit mimicked, death phase. No death phase? With regards to what? Also something at theta. Huh. Set up split circuit. This is probably with regards to Tau. What is this? Okay, so that's a circuit. Here's... Oh, so this is definitely WoW growing, right? And this chart on the right shows the, the almost cancer-like unlimited growth that will eventually continue. And it seems like it was engineered to be so, that way. Oh my goodness, and here it is essentially taking over a rat. That's not good. So, let's see here. We have a whole bunch of stuff going on. Connectivity. The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help us out with, or help out with connectivity. Function. It seems like it's not only, okay, it's telling me we suffer, lovely. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Apply gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the live one seemed stress. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. And then there's progress. So this is all taking place over the course of months. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by urns or eames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the, the ability to somewhat control it. Chemical analysis a few months later. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same crosslink gel with a lined graphene in a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WoW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never even have dreamed of. Then the study results a week later. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. They have, in some manner, been exposed to charged gel and, in turn, stricken by cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say it's bad code or a careful, carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Interesting. Very concerning, obviously. So are we going to find the gel in here? So this is temperature negative 20, gel uncalibrated. Control chip malfunction, because of course. Because of course. 
Glorified, uh, so these are different things. Never seen something of that speed. That's the, that's the experiment with the rat. Okay. All right, and this is where all of those experiments took place, presumably. So we're gonna have to fix the, the control chip, right? That's down here. I almost didn't see that. So we can place this in the computer here, possibly. Hopefully. No. Okay. Then the next natural question is, where are we going to fix this control chip? Right? In here, maybe? Is this where the various experiments were kept, or? We can dispense gel. This is cell one. Okay, and it has some sort of circuit board. There's, it's probably hooked up to, wow. We kind of turned it on, I guess. Can I take it out and switch it out with the one that I have? No, I guess not. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see what happens. We can uh, dispense gel. Can I like move it with the arrow keys or what? I don't know, but either way, we can kind of see what happens when we dispense the gel. I don't know if that's just for our entertainment or or if it's like important that it has a whole bunch of structured gel put on it. Okay, it doesn't look any different than before. Can we take it out? Now we can. All right, it doesn't look like we can do anything with it, which is a bit of a bummer, but not the end of the world. So we can maybe place our chip on here now? Okay, we can. Nope, I want you to go back in there. Stay in there, all right, cool. And now we should be able to switch this over, I think, to the second one. Oops, a little bit overshot. No, that was a little too much too. Little adjustments. Seriously? There we go. All right, go ahead and dispense the gel. Oh my, look at that rat. So the structure gel should improve the efficiency and essentially fix this, albeit in some odd manner. So, well, I guess now that that's happened, we can turn this off and take it back. The altered chip. Now, the next thing I want to do is actually, I want to see what happens when we do the experiment with the rat. So out comes the structure gel. There's a circuit nearby. It's a dead rat and wow just like uses the structure gel to kind of like patchwork fix slash reanimate the the dead rat dang that's creepy all right anything else in this room does not appear so can we take out the rat it came back to life or something like it yikes all right so now we should be able to open it all the way, and we can finally get ourselves some structure gel. All right, we have successfully obtained structure gel, which is good progress. I don't know if I have to obtain all three things at the same time in order to make it work, or if I can drop off one at a time or something like that. I'll probably just assume that I can hang on to all three at any given point. It would be really unfortunate if I got to the next item and I wasn't able to interact with it because I can only hold on to one at a time. Oh my. Who are you? I mean, I, I hear you on the importance. Don't get me wrong, man. But, uh, you know, you might want to work on your communication skills. The way you're trying to deliver your, again, I hear you, important message isn't really getting across in the most effective manner. For some strange reason, I feel like it's just not, uh, not the most conducive to being heard. 
Alright, so it's probably something we actually need to get all three of them. We need to get you a new Cortex chip, just like the ones you find inside robots, so we can store your brain. Alright. So that was the biomech area. I don't think there's a whole lot more for us to explore. That's the storage closet, right? Yeah. So I don't think there's a whole lot more for us to explore on this floor, right? We just did the biomech lab. Again, we're kind of like facing this way. Like we're on this side of the sort of octagon in the center here. Hello, friend. Um, so which way did we go? Oh wait, no. If we just... Where did we go? Did we go to hydroponics? Is that where we just went? I'm so confused. No, hydroponics is over there. Huh. Okay, so if hydroponics is over there, then we were just... Okay, so we were just in the biomech laboratory. So next up would be the biologic laboratory, which I don't think we've been to yet. Apologies for all of the confusion. Doesn't appear to be any immediate threats. Just to be safe, we're going to do that, though. Computers obviously seem better days. So that's, <clears throat> that's pretty interesting. I don't really know what that was about, but it seems like Alpha is some important site at the bottom of the abyss that is arguably not even real. Maybe this was all created with some intent to provide hope that's actually unfounded. Atlantic Cod shows some of the biology. And then the jellyfish, whole bunch of deformed aquatic animals due to wow. This is really cool stuff. I love this sort of, I don't know, horrific imagery that's still rooted in something we're very familiar with from reality, right? And then this machine is clearly preserving them. The next question is, are we supposed to do anything in here? I don't think so. Not at least yet. Alright, so what do we have over here? Some common squid. Okay, okay. And then we have a computer desk. Some beakers. Erlenmeyer flask, I think? Been a minute since I've used one. <laughs> Just casually on top of that other beaker. Centrifuge, maybe? A little chemistry lab going on here. Okay. Fist pound. Rocket. I don't know. Oh, oh man, it got me again. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to unthink of that now. Great. So we just, like, drain the power from the area. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Is there really not much going on here? Can I open this? Interact with the buttons? Nothing? There's the mirror. Ooh, we get a better glimpse of ourselves. Very neat looking. Interesting. So we obviously don't have a head, and it's probably because WoW developed slash produced these machine-esque heads that maybe are more useful for some purpose. But is there really nothing to do in here? What is this? I mean, I'm looking for the Cortex chip. I'm looking for... 
the the power pack or whatever and I'm not finding anything in here can't interact with that maybe the whole point was just that uh, audio recording I'm not seeing anything to interact with so if you guys we have to come back here please don't get upset with me <laughs> I really don't see anything to interact with, which is a bit of a bummer, but I also wouldn't be surprised if we get jump scared right now. No? Okay. Um, if there was one item on each floor. So right now we're in the midsection, and by the hydroponics area at the end of the hall, there should be stairwell. We can go to the upper level, and there's a mess hall. Containment 2, airlock, interesting, okay, so we can only really get around though through the containment 2, and that's going to take us to the power room, power room is going to help us out, clearly there was some stuff going on there, so yeah, let's, let's try that, hydroponics is over this way, so the stairwell should be in this hallway, right, I don't, I feel like we haven't been in here though, have we? Or am I, am I just like going crazy? What's going on here? There's a beaker and a heater. What's it called again? It's not a Bunsen burner. It's, I think it's just like a heating plate or something. Wow, what a throwback to chemistry class. Any useful information here? Nope, just some bottled water. Clearly whatever was in these bins has seen better days. What is that? I don't know, some sort of sludge, I guess. But otherwise, this room didn't have too much useful for us. I think this is how we originally came up here. Yikes. So this person has clearly seen better days. This is how we get upstairs. I think we, we came from a lower level, so we probably came from there. Let's Let's head on up. Static can only mean fun times ahead, right? I will admit, I actually appreciate that it's a little bit lighter in this environment. It is nice to be able to see where I'm going a little bit more and interact with the environment a little bit. I'm not exactly going to assume that we're alone up here, though. So this is to the main entrance. Uh-oh. So this room has definitely seen better days. Can't tap into that. Probably the same here. Oh, not this person either. Interesting. Reminder, check your air supply and systems. We obviously can't open this at the moment. Dang, this is so gruesome. I wonder if there's something I could have obtained at some point that would allow me to interact with and learn about the memories. So this is a restricted area. Huh. Well, maybe it'll be good to know for the future. You gotta do something to gain access to this. Can I interact with this? Is this a puzzle I need to work with? No? Alright, well, I guess we'll leave it open should we need to come over here. This is the South Hall. Got my listening ears on. Alright, we're gonna have to go through this way then. This is the containment. Okay, that's probably our friend, just looking to talk to us. And both of these are... Huh. So there's the power room we've been trying to get to for quite some time. Is there a separate puzzle up here? 
It looks like it. Okay, so we'll probably have to... Oh! No, we were just able to, to do that right off the bat. So the power room is over that way, and then the mess hall is the other way. Which way do we want to go to first? Let's go to the mess hall, actually. Okay. First, of, co of course. You know, you guys know the deal by now. And down goes the power again. Now, if I knew that was going to happen, I probably should have just explored the area first. But that's alright. I don't see anything super interesting in the kitchen here. Oh, it's kind of an interesting machine. What are we, what are we making tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Alright. Nope, can't open this up. I'm sure Simon's got to be hungry by now. That's kind of an interesting thing. Will these, like, hybrid human machines experience hunger? I wonder if... I mean, their bodies are already dead, presumably. I wonder if they need some sort of sustenance. Can I not interact with the computer? I guess not. What does it say? Why not have a meeting about the meeting? <laughs> you know, I, I've actually done that before. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of, or have ever had pre-meetings where there's a meeting coming up, but you know it has to like go particularly well or something like that. And so you want to make sure your team is on the same page before the meeting actually happens. So you have a pre-meeting. It is extra time investment, no doubt. Um, but it is helpful for what it's worth. I hear a lot of weird sounds. So this is storage. Anything interesting stored in here? Camera, maybe? Whenever the music kind of changes like that, I'm always like, excuse me, what's going on behind me? You know, like check all my surroundings and be like, am I missing something? Uh-oh, something big is gonna happen here. You know that's the case <laughs> when the game saves and loads for you. So we can't interact with this. This is the maintenance tunnel, but we can presumably escape through there. Uh-oh, we got a friend not doing so hot over there. Can we grab this and connect to him or something to give him more power? Keep him alive? Presumably. What the heck? That is, uh, certainly a sight. Things are starting to seem a little bit more precarious over here. Please recharge and return power pack after use. Okay, the high performance power pack. Uh, when depleted, recharge the pack in, huh, the compatible charger. So, this is just kind of the manual for it. This is where we would have found it if people were responsible and put the power pack back, but they haven't, so we're going to have to go hunting for it, I'm sure. What am I hearing? Oh. Hello there. Are you an enemy? Are you an enemy or not? I don't know. Almost certainly, actually. But I'm way too curious to not find out. What the heck? Alright, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna back up a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see, power pack charger, okay. So we very well may need to find the power pack charger, stealthily, or find the power pack, stealthily make our way to the power pack charger. 
That looks like the container where they were charged before. So I would bet. Let's see here. Oh, that's not what I. Ah, oh, crap. It's so loud and aggressive, and it's not moving. So what's the plan? I feel like I need to distract it with some with some noise. That didn't seem to work. What if I throw this at it? Oh boy. Something has changed. Something has definitely changed. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh my god. So that was a change. That was certainly a change. Am I alive? Yes, maybe. This is where I died, obviously. It's over there. Is it just kind of chilling, doing its own thing again? I think so. So I'm fairly certain. I mean, we, we obviously just saved recently, so I do feel a little bit more liberal with my experimentation. I figured I might as well go for it. I figured I would just try and hope for the best. Am I right next to this now? I am. So. I have the pack. But where in the world is it? Is that it? It is. So now what? I clearly haven't figured out the AI for this particular enemy. Actually, this is where I need to put it, right? Oh, nope, I guess not. Ah, crap, 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 crap. You totally didn't see me. Yeah, it seems to be having a pretty bad time where it's like, choking on something, or I don't know. It's got a lot going on. Alright, let's... Oh, crap. Was that enough to get its attention? Come on. How do I do this? I clearly can't, like, sneak in its line of vision, or in its line of sight. It seems to get all worked up. Is it coming over now? That should have been pretty close. We'll try and get a little closer to home. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. How do we get past this thing? All I can think of is we we kind of run for it. All right, team, you ready? <laughs> We're just gonna bolt it. Run, 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 run. Keep on running. Oh man, it's close, it's close, it's close. Run, 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 run. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Slash, don't find me, please. So 
So I'm not sure I'd exactly call that successful. But we didn't die, like, right away. And honestly, at this point, I I'm okay with that. Poison the well. What does that mean? What is all this static? Dang, that's intense. Okay, so I think we successfully obtained the second item. I will note, though, that I don't really feel comfortable with the AI of that enemy. If they are introducing a new type of enemy, it's probably not the last time we're going to see them. So I am concerned for future encounters, but running past them was fairly successful. Maybe that's this type of enemy. Right in the past, we've had to be particularly stealthy and sneak past stuff, but right now, it seems like this enemy is one that they're going to force you to just straight up sprint and hope for the best at that point. What the heck? I have no idea what just happened. My recording, just like my whole PS4 just lost signal. My game, what? I have no idea what's going on, guys. Hang, hang on a second. Okay, we are, we are back and um, alive, surprisingly. Sorry about that. I, I thought it was like one of those like meta moments where the game like pretended to shut down, but no, like my, my PS4 legitimately disconnected from my, my TV and my recording setup. And is that static like a monster or is it still just our friend here in the middle who likes to say hi to us? Not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I think my, my PS3 updated and, and something with that and my HDMI hub and it was not a, not a good time. But we are back and alive and well and I apologize for the missed few seconds of static and our friend saying hi to us, continuing to tell us to poison the well. But now, oh my, things in general look a lot darker throughout the entirety of the lab. Oh. Hello there. Lovely. I'm sure that's what we missed out on before. So hydroponics again is what's going to lead us to... We're, uh, we're going to close you. Oh wait, no. It was the other one. This is the one that leads down, right? <clears throat> so that's where we're going to find the Cortex chip, presumably. But this guy over here is what I want to close, because that's where our, our friend who is screaming and running and all of that fun stuff came after us. So next up is going to be the Cortex ship. We're going to go downstairs for that. But of course, we're going to be doing that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was definitely a fun one. I really like the enemy designs in this game. I mean, from an AI standpoint slash gameplay, it's not like super revolutionary or anything. But one of the things I always look forward to in horror games is how they, how they depict the horror, right? And that enemy in particular is probably my favorite in terms of character design. So that was really neat. And otherwise, we're starting to get a little bit more of a picture of what's going on. I'm surprised that this late in the game, we're still introducing mysteries, but now we have this whole alpha, does it exist or not, set up to worry about. Why did the Ark not make it to the moon? Maybe it's because the plan didn't even have the final step necessary to make it work in the first place, and everybody was just fooled into thinking such hope was there, so that everybody could die with some semblance of hope. I don't know, but uh, we will eventually find out. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.